Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. I have built our little uh, building over here for our two uh, limestone mines. And I have also fed coal over to our truck station in there where, so that we can uh, fuel up our truck and get everything running. I actually think most of our tractors have stopped running for whatever reason, I guess because they are out of fuel uh, i don't know why because we are bringing in quite a lot of fuel there's plenty so uh, we'll have to figure that out somehow but first we need to set up a truck to get uh, our concrete or our limestone over to our concrete factory over here and that is what we're going to do now so let's build a truck Oh, before we do that, let's just check. This is set to loading, yes. Good. Oh, um, these are both Mach 2 miners. This one is on a normal, and I have overclocked it three times, so it's producing 300 per minute. So it's up to 250%. And the one over here, uh, what we can just quickly do is take a look in here. So I. This building basically just holds this belt going over there, but I kind of like it that it's a, a structure of its own. Can't build it. Thank you. All right. So in here, it's uh, an impure or node. So this only produces 150 per minute when it's overclocked to 250%. But 300 plus 150, that's a total of 250. And that's, ex or 450, sorry. And that's exactly what we need for a Mach 4 belt. So that is perfect. All right, let's build the truck. And it will be built right here. And we're loading. Just uh, take a look at its inventory, yes, it's loading and it has fuel and everything, so that's good. So now we just need to set up our route. Um, what? Okay, there we are. So let's say start recording and go. And this needs to come out like this. And it could go through the uh, the building, but I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to jump off here, because I have forgotten to do this. So we are going to retry this. So let's uh, try driving this truck. Oh, that does not look good. Okay. Can we get that down from somewhere there somewhere? Somehow? Okay, that looks a little bit weird. <laughs> let's uh let's take a screenshot of that, shall we? That just looks just a tad weird. Uh, but well, I guess what we maybe can do is Yeah, there it comes. And let's just stick oops the uh, foundation in there again while we're here. And hopefully we can now get it upright, yes. All right, see, let's uh, finish recording and clear path, because that did work. Okay, so how do we get back? What we actually need to do is get... Hmm. Let's have a think. So those are coming around down there and going in there. So what we really need to do is either build a way for this to come down or it will have to go through the, uh, the factory. So we are going to hit that tractor. Yes we are. 
that's fine. So let's just uh, jump out of this and see what do we do here. Because um, I, I don't think I really want it to go through here when it doesn't need to. That seems highly inefficient. And this one is actually going up and coming in. And this one is, here we are coming down. And for this one, it's coming up and round and down. So do we have, hmm. The tractors on this are going this way and coming in, so we are going to have to go through or come down here and in. And I think that's what we're going to do. So let's just take a look at foundations and say put that on. Ten. And like this, we also need this one. So put one of those under there. Come down again. one of those under there and come down again hmm might have been better to do it whoa I fell off might have been better to do it a little bit further over and then turn So if we actually do like this and start going up, I think that's going to work out easier. So let's get up there and do that. And zero. up this way and then a bit more one and a bit more and almost up to height Ooh, these are not matching up. Dang it. Why are they not matching up? I would have thought that they would match up. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's try this. And do a half. Ramp. Come on. Why won't it go on top? There it goes. There we go. That's perfect. Alright. So let's try this again, shall we? Here we are, start recording and go. 
Alright. And as I said, I think in an earlier episode, we will need to put, put walls up here because they'll go flying all over the place if we don't have walls. Oh, shit. That was close. That was close. Come up this way. Alright. There's a tractor stuck in there. Come down. Do we need to come over this way? Oh man, do we need to clear this out first? Oh, we made it. Come up. I think we will clear that out. We don't really need it going over over there. And we need to turn here. And then we need to unload here. And we'll just keep going. And we'll come out. And around. And I don't remember which way we went. We'll figure it out. Wait. And this is where we hit a rock and uh, turned over in the tractor. And we did the same in this. Fantastic. Hmm. Dang it. Finish recording. Clear path. Let's try this again. Let's see where which way did this is this guy going? Okay, he is going around that way, okay. Let's try this again, shall we? I think what I'll do is ah, come on. I think I will just get out and I'll tear all of this out. Because it's in the way. And we don't need it going over there. I mean, it's a copper mine and it's making our wire, but we can just do that over there, uh, temporarily. Uh, fine. Alright, let's give it another shot. And... Here we go. So, clear path, start recording, and go. Let's hope it works this time. These trucks are a little bit hard to drive sometimes, in my opinion. But they are very cool all right so far so good and better than before and i guess that tractor in there is still stuck yeah because there's no way for it to get out we'll fix that later all right going way. I need to move that power pole. That is really in the way. Whoa. Dang it. Right, let's get up here. I hope that doesn't like mess things up too much. And we'll just keep going. Because it should unload anyway.
two wired foundations is really the minimum with the road we can make with uh, these trucks. Okay, here we go. We can go this way. We can. A bit bumpy, but that's okay. Don't. Good. And come around here. All right, I think we made it. Very nice. Turn in. And turn around and stop. And finish recording. Hide path nodes. And a water pilot. And get out. Alright, off he goes. Oh, there's the tractor. Almost got hit. Hopefully, those two don't hit each other or something. And go flying over. That would be really bad. Everything looking good. Alright. Let's go over here and take a look and see because I think I did hook everything up so that we actually should be producing encased industrial beams now. We should have concrete going out here. Uh, this is unloading, yeah. And it is powered, yeah. Right? No. Why is this not powered? Oh, it is powered. It's green, right? No, it's not. It is powered. All right, let's go check check it out. There should be... This works. The other thing is powered as well. It does. All right. Good. And we have beams, but we do not have concrete. Why don't we have concrete? This is the input. No concrete has been offloaded as yet, looks like. Why not? And these guys aren't powered, so we need to power them. So, uh, actually, no, I, no, good. No, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Hey. So we need to get power upstairs. Uh, we have power upstairs somewhere. So let's go up and find that. Where is it? Ah, okay, we can just... Let's just uh, run it this way. That's easy. And then once we have power, we'll figure out why the <clears throat> there is no um, what's it called? Concrete. The limestone coming in. Encroaching. What's an encroaching? Okay. Let's uh, build one over here then. And hopefully it won't encroach. There, that's better. And then we will run the power down this way. So. Powerful. And 
jump over here. Jump over here. So we're getting power. And then we just need to figure out where the all the limestone is. Because it should be coming in. There. Alright, let's go find out if no limestone has been unloaded or it's stuck somewhere. No, there's limestone there. So we are getting limestone. So, and there's limestone there. Oh, I forgot to move it up here. Okay, we can fix that. Let's just put a foundation down here. And move it up there. There we go. And this whole uh, structure right here is just so that I could get the conveyor wall or the conveyor lift out a little bit further from uh, from the machines because I just couldn't uh, get them to hook up properly. All right. So there's that. And let's go see. If we're lucky, we will be making encased industrial beams very, very shortly. Yes, we will. Fantastic. And there comes all our Limestone, let's just go and see that everything is configured over here. And I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is actually. Yeah, limestone is going in everywhere. Of course, we're only bringing in 270 limestone a minute because we don't have encased industrial beams to make Mach 4 uh, stuff. And we don't have uh, Mach 4 belts unlocked yet anyway. But we are producing in case there are still beams, so let's go and take a look at the output here. There's one. We are. Outstanding, I love it. I am so happy. Alright, so we need to get that down to a storage area. And this is an output, so the storage area will actually be here. So let's put in a conveyor wall. Like, come on. Like so. And do we have materials to build? We have for one. So that's good. This centered. I want it centered. Centered there. So we need a foundation over here. I think we're gonna need. We we're going to need. Come on. Let's just do this. Want to put the foundation down here. And then I want a conveyor wall. Oops, not that one. That one. I think it's actually one out. I'm not entirely sure right now. Let's just do like that and go upstairs. And did I put the conveyor wall in down there? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's one out. All right. 
So you uh, you can tear this one out and stick a foundation on here. And let's just put one on here for now and delete that one. Because we need to put one down there. Uh, or should we, I think what we'll do is we'll put the conveyor wall like so. And we can remove this stuff. Leave that. Put this one out here. And then we need to figure out the height that it's gonna come in. So we can tear that one out and that one out. And get their wall in there. Regular wall in there. And then we need to go up again. Actually, we need to put a foundation because it makes things a heck of a lot easier if you just put a foundation there and then you can actually measure where it's going so without the foundation down there I wouldn't be able to properly gauge the height that I wanted to come down in uh, we need a conveyor wall down there Or do we? No, we don't, actually. But we could make one just for now to help us gauge the height. Again. So, the rear lift. So, as soon as it goes encroaching others clearance, then it's too low, one up, and it's a perfect height. And then we can delete that again. And I think we'll do like this. And now we can delete that. And let's get the belts going. So, that was one, two, three, one. should have encased industrial beams coming in and going down. Yes, we do. Alright, let's go downstairs. And I still need a foundation there just to get this going in there. And then we'll come out to there. Going there. There we go. We can tear that out and make in a wall. And we have encased industrial beams. Hoorah! I am so happy about that. This is absolutely amazing. We won't be producing that many right now. It's, uh, what, 20 uh, a minute? Uh, but we will... I think get that quite a bit higher so uh, so that's good and they'll just keep coming so fantastic we have made really good progress and I am very happy about that now if we run up here real quick and take a look I think I mentioned it in the last episode but repetition repetition right uh, so these guys produce for a minute, uh, so we can actually have 20, uh, 22 uh, of them and then overclock a, a tad so that we are actually using 450 uh, concrete a minute. Now over here, we're only producing 150 per minute because we have uh, 10 machines and they each produce 15 per minute. So we need three floors of this to um, 
to supply everything. So that's going to be pretty interesting. I think. Can I? Just want to see. Um, let's see if we put a wall in here and then a conveyor wall in there. Will this go up there? Yes, it will. Good. Because that is going to look a lot nicer when going across. And we can put a wall in. Well. All right. That's much nicer, right? Right. Good. So, uh, yeah. We got a truck going for concrete. We have encased industrial beams being made. And... We have a bunch of tractors that are missing or stranded uh, for whatever reason and I am going to go figure that out in between episodes and then I'll see you next time. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and I'll see you next time.